So here we are with episode 12 of Call of the Night. A little bit of a recap, we were introduced to Anko, who is a private detective and currently has an ongoing case for Akiyama, who recently turned into a fledgling by Sari. And because of her work, she sometimes has cases that involves vampires, so that's why she has knowledge of vampires. And she basically schooled Cole, telling him that this idea of vampirism that he currently has is, well, most likely wrong, or at the very least, Cole just doesn't really understand vampires. So it's, uh, it's nice for her to come in, and then it's nice for us to have that situation with the teacher who was turned into a vampire against his own will. It was great for Cole to be able to see a different kind of vampire instead of all of the vampires that he's seen, he's seen now who are very well comfortable in their position, if you minus a little bit of Nazna and Sari. So I am interested to see if Cole is going to talk to Nazuna or any of the other vampires that he knows about vampires since, uh, again, he, he really holds vampirism in a more positive light because of all the vampires that he's seen, so it's, uh, it'll be interesting. Also, from a rating of 1 to 10, please tell me how good my green screen is. <laughs> Anyways, I do have my full-length reaction up on Patreon, which you guys can check out in the description down below. Other than that, let us get started. Oh. Oh, he's actually talked to her. Okay, interesting. She did give them their card and all that. But is that all vampires, though? Alright, so you're gonna go talk to Nazna. Very nice. What is his name? Mahiru? Is that his name? Yeah, Mahiru. So he decided to, to take the card that Anko gave and go and actually talk to her. She just smiled about it. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll give me some information. Mahiru doesn't know about the appearance of vampires, but he's hanging out with some older woman. Out at night. I mean, again, even if that woman is a vampire or not, it's... <laughs> He's still fucked. <laughs> the blood? She's gonna know. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> oh, she's going to feel his emotions. Oh. Oh, he's thinking about... Wow. Just tell me for starters. <sighs> for 10 years, the man was starving. Mm hmm. That man was like a fledgling compared to her. I mean, he was. <laughs> Forgot to mention Nazna's new clothes. <laughs> Ah, so it was literally his last day. Okay. She knows that I want. Oh, it's because she's seen the bad side of vampires. You're quitting? Yeah, you a fucking quitter, bro? You? Of course. He yeah, you, you really should have thought about that in the beginning. <laughs> Those are indeed boobs! <laughs> no, no, yeah, more discreet, my guy. You were so close. And then he talked to the detective. Yeah, it was a vampire, even if it was an unusual. What it means about becoming a vampire. Raging passion. Damn, dude, his fucking eyes, though. <laughs> Searching everywhere for the. <laughs> 
It's all digital now, Zuna. Come on. Oh, parents divorce and his mom is works at night. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? うん。ロンドンに乗りたい。やっぱり夜が好きだからだ。ああ。夜は自由だ。だから仕事が好きみたいだ。最近は楽しいだけじゃないってことにした。それでもよかった。There's more to it. Like the grass is greener on the other side sort of situation. Think about it. Yeah, okay. It's a fun pure part. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, not, yeah, so Naz Nazna has lived for a while. Yeah, been decades. That's how I wanted to be. Damn, dude, what the? <laughs> Look at her, unimpressed. <laughs> She just licked your fucking bite wound and then left? Wow. What a master seducer. Ooh. I was thinking, I mean, it's like she's probably looking for Anko because of the color. Alright, you are a detective. You should know the fucking laws. Now, how much research have you done? Oh, at least she's good at her job, huh? Wow, even knows his hobby about sneakers? Ah, wow! See, look, it is digital! <laughs> Delete them! <laughs> the first time you... Damn, dude, she was doing a code read on him. <laughs> They're at a train station. She's seen the bad side of Ah, or evil from human perspective. Ah, so you're a specious. 
Honorary human. Mm-hmm. For ten long years and then fucking die. Hey, 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 hey. Saying this man's aromantic this whole time? Damn. When you're cr when you're crazier than the vampire. Vampire. Wow. Wow. You become a vampire and get killed by me. Is that that silver ring? Does it weaken vampires? At this point, Shoper. Damn, dude, she has an extreme hatred for vampires. I wonder why. Oh, he's standing his ground. Is that a burner phone? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, she's- Oh my god, she's ratting- she's ratting him out! <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't wander. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Damn, Uncle! Should have recorded her talking about how she wanted to string you along. And then when the police came. <laughs> He, how would have he known? Her. Why is that? Is some good questions. Oh, wow, the fucking red light. Man's just hiding in the playground. The police will never find him here. Mm hmm. Don't you have your walkie-talkie? Is that a vampire? Uh, is she- she's one of the- Yeah, I was like- Hatsuka- Hatsuka- Oh! Okay, wow, that's- Okay, that was just the end of the episode. Alright, sick. We're- we're going to get him to talk with yet yeah, one of the- another of the, uh, vampires from the Vampire Council. <laughs> Okay, that was a very interesting episode. This this show two side. I was gonna say two side of the same coin, but I don't think Anko is part of the same coin as Cole. But I don't know. His name is Cole, and her name is Anko. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's very nice for uh for Cole to finally remember why, or yeah, for him to remember why he wanted to become a vampire in the first place. Because ever since. He got enamored by the nightlife and the idea of being a vampire. He just hasn't really thought much about anything, you know? Like, he he had not even think once about the fact that he's going to have to drink human blood when, uh, when he becomes a vampire. But, uh, alright, I'm gonna go write my notes and then we will be back to the center. Alright, so that was episode 12 of Call of the Night. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a great follow-up episode to the previous episode with Cole uh, now hesitating on whether he should become a vampire or not because that... Uh, that fantasy goggle that he's been had, uh, that he had on for the past 10 episodes, 
that's been forcibly removed off of him and now he has to just sit here and wonder why he wanted to become a vampire in the first place and I, I really like that. Also, I saw a comment that said uh, that someone had said vampires can go 10 years without blood and I I was trying to figure out like is that just a vampire thing like it's that just a part of vampirism that I'm not that I'm not sure about because honestly the concept of vampires just changes ever so slightly in everybody's uh, series and all that whenever they write about vampires but I saw that comment and then when I saw that it was mentioned here I uh, got I, I was a little upset because it, it made me realize that this person was probably a manga reader and they literally just said something that was going to be explained in the next episode. But anyways, let's not rant about that. So we saw Mahiru who went to Anko's office to talk or perhaps learn more about vampires and she seemed to be happy about it since perhaps that's just another person who now has knowledge of vampires but does not want to be a vampire. You know, and also consider that Mahiru is friends with Ko, I assume she knows that he's going to talk to Ko and try to convince him otherwise. And I, I like that Mahiru now that he knows about vampires, but also he didn't really have a um, good impression of vampires. He has the same stance as Akira, where he doesn't want him to be a vampire, or at least Akira just wants him to go to school and, you know, bring him back to the day life. But Mahiru is telling him like, hey, why do you want to become a vampire? Do you want to become like that teacher? Are, are you going to not suck blood and then you're going to lose control? Or are you actually going to manipulate somebody and you're going to just suck their blood? You know, like what are... Well, what, what do you think vampires really are? I like that, uh, well, throughout this whole entire episode, Cole is just trying to figure out whether he should become vampire a vampire or not. And he has three people that he talked to who all on a, uh, 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 on a varying degree says that he probably shouldn't become a vampire. And it's really interesting that when he goes and he talks to Nazna, Nazna finally opens up about herself. And I, I really like that because one of the things that I really enjoy about long lived creatures, long lived people, I suppose, you know, people who are immortal, whether they're vampires or not, is the concept of time and how they deal with it and the boring reality that they're going to have to face. And if they end up making friends, specifically with humans, the loss that they have to face. So I really like that they're bringing this up now. And it, it's something that's so sad, but I just, I, I absolutely enjoy it. You know, this time difference between someone who lives forever or live for over thousands of years compared to a human who can only live you know 110 at best if they really if they really try or 120 and while Cole was trying to figure out why he wanted to be a vampire in the first place and she he's he's forgotten it at this point Nazna reminds him and she said that he was enamored by his first time at school oh sorry at first time at night you know, his school are the ordinary. Him going out at night, that's not so ordinary. And it's sort of that feeling of like the grass is greener on the other side. So he wants to go over there. But she says, now that you're, you're hanging out regularly at night, do you feel like that first time you've gone out at night? You know, do you feel that excitement anymore? Or is going out at night just an ordinary thing for you because things will eventually become ordinary once you experience it enough and you know Nazna just drops the bomb saying being a vampire is boring and she has lived for decades it's just boring on how she has to go day in and day out just knowing that her life will never end and she has to go through perhaps the same routine over and over you know whether she's doing this job of hers or she has to go out and hunt and you know, suck blood and all that. Living the same thing over and over becomes very boring. And Cole had asked her, why did you only show me the fun side of vampires then? And she said, that's, that's what I want to be. And I, I suppose, you know, she says it from the heart. It, 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 because probably when she first became a vampire, she was probably very excited. And now she's just 
not she's bored by it she's not excited anymore and uh, the one interesting thing was i think this was before she started explaining about how like vampires are boring because uh cole had said something about like he was trying to delay the whole vampirism you know he's just like well maybe we can just you know have fun for a moment and like we you don't have to make me your offspring that fast you know that quickly <laughs> and then she had this look of just genuine sadness and i and and and, and then she goes on the explanation about vampires be it, being a vampire is boring and all that but i had wondered consider that again she was just showing him the fun side i i wondered if nazna actually wanted a a, a friend a vampire friend because you live long forever, but if somebody wants to be your friend and then they end up becoming a vampire too, and they get to, you know, they, and they live forever just as you, you know, isn't that something that you would want at the very least? You know, like even though you're going through this eternal turmoil, at least there's someone there with you. I don't know, but it was really nice for Nazna to be able to just open up the call about that. <sighs> and then finally, he goes and talks to Anko and we saw that Anko has done her research on him but perhaps she was also doing some cold reading on him as well since she has that information about him so perhaps she was like oh I could probably you know poke out of things about him. I really love that she goes because like the whole thing with Nazana trying to find porn and like the only thing in my head was like of course he has it digitally like he's not gonna fucking has the physical copy. This is the modern age. Come on. And Anko's. <laughs> I assume it's probably a code reading, or else it's a that it's very specific. You know, of her saying like, "Oh, you probably keep porn on your phone or whatever," and then you feel guilty, and then you delete it, and then you feel, and then you regret deleting it. So then you do it all over again. <laughs> But Anko reveals that she even knows about Nazina and the fact that she's a vampire. And throughout the entire chat, we see that Anko has a deep hatred for vampires. She says that, yeah, humans doing horrible things to humans is inevitable. We live with each other, you know, bad things are going to happen eventually. But vampires doing bad things to us? No, 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 we can't have that. Even though Anko is out here killing vampires, you know, so like, what is your argument there? You're out here killing them, and if they're causing destruction, isn't this just an eye for an eye sort of thing? She goes and she says that vampires are evil, or at least when she says it, all vampires are evil. And she forces Cole to make a decision on whether he should become a vampire or not. And <laughs> it's like, he doesn't become a vampire, he gets hunted by them and potentially killed. He becomes a vampire. He'll get hu hunted by the detective and then he'll be killed. It's a no way. It is a this is a lose lose situation. Albeit Anko says I'm gonna kill all the vampires, so don't worry if you don't want to become a vampire. I guess Anko will just eliminate every single one of them, and I suppose. I don't know if I mentioned the thought of like whether she's a vampire hunter or not and I thought maybe it's just something that she fell into and, and she also you know she says she has a method to kill vampires and so she it so I assume it comes from that silver ring and also Cole had had the question while he was running away on, on like why did her blood taste bad but my blood tastes good so like it, it's a it, it's a like it's an interesting thing that brought is brought up again and I wonder well I mean eventually we will find out why Anko has bad blood or bad tasting blood. But before I got into that, when Anko was forcing Cole to make a decision, uh, Cole stands up for himself and he says that not all vampires are evil. Some of them actually respect humans and they try to live alongside humans. You know, not all vampires are bad. It's just like humans, you know, there are some bad humans and there are some good humans, but Anko uh, will not take that shit she only has love for humans and she has uh, no love for vampires and so I can only assume something bad happened to Anko or at the very least through her job. She has seen many bad side to vampires, she just hasn't really seen the goodness to vampires. Although I'll, I'll be honest, if she's seen goodness in vampires she'll probably be like, nah they're probably still evil, we gotta wipe them out. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's nice to get her stance, more of her stance on that. But it will be interesting to hear, uh, to see more backstory on uh, on Anko. Anyway, so when Cole stands his ground, she's over here like, I I'm gonna take the easiest route and I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna report you. <laughs> And she's like, well, you can't hang out at night anymore. The police are searching for you, so you better go. And it makes me wonder if this is going to prevent him from meeting up with Nazana. And consider that Nazana, she says that nowadays she's only looking, uh, she, she's only drinking his blood. And how he, uh, in the beginning, when he went to talk to her again, she was just over here like, oh, finally you're here. I've been waiting, you know, I, I need, <laughs> I need blood. <laughs> so... I wonder if that's part of her plan. She did also... It... Anko is just... It, you know, it, a little confusing. Like, she's forcing him to make decisions. But then she also goes and she says, like, Oh, if you don't become a vampire, the vampires will hunt you. And they might also hunt Nazuna as well, because she was supposed to make you uh, her offspring. And, I don't know, like, I... <laughs> Like, do you want him to become a vampire or not? Like, cause I don't think that's a good argument for you, Uncle. But anyways, while Cole's on the run, he hides in the playground and he encounters Hatsuka, one of the vampire from the Vampire Council. And uh, well, he's going to have a talk with her in the next episode. I wonder if, I assume he's probably going to ask her like similar questions about vampires and all that. That's going to be nice. I assume we're going to learn more about vampires towards the, in the last episode. <laughs> Truly, the first half of the of the anime was just Cole in Wonderland. You know, he was just having great fun time. But now he's facing reality and it's just very nice. Facing reality for a fucking middle schooler. <laughs> but if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you guys when I see you guys.